Okay, guys, here's a follow-up to lesson 4.9 on pan balance equations. Um, we're trying to get here one triangle, right? So what I need to do is I don't want these on this side, but you know from you know what we did in class today that you can remove two squares as long as you do the same thing to both sides. So we can take those out if we take these out here, okay? So now I have two triangles and six squares and we know we can divide both sides by two. That's the same thing as uh, removing half, right? So if I remove half here, that's gone. And those are gone, right? So what I have left is one triangle and three squares. And we know these are still balanced because we did the same thing to both sides. So one triangle weighs three squares. Okay, so now we've got here, this is two balls. I wish they had just drawn it twice, and this is five, right? So actually, I am gonna draw it. Let's draw another ball, 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 ball. All right, so we've got five and we've got two here, okay? And we're trying to get one ball, okay? So first of all, um, <clears throat> I've got coins and balls on both sides, and I need, to get the, I need to get ultimately down to just one ball on one of these sides. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have my balls over here because there's more of them here. And I'm going to have my coins uh, over here because there's more of them here. So let's start by trying to get, uh, let's remove two balls, right? I don't want these over here. So let's remove two balls from both sides. So we'll remove those two. All right, so we've got three balls here and four coins. So now let's remove these coins here. I don't want these here, so... Get rid of those four coins. If I remove four from here, I have to remove four from here as well. So what we're left with, you might need to redraw this just to, to be careful, right? What you're left with is three balls and three coins. So if I have three and three, hmm, what does that tell me? That means that they're equal, right? Of course, you could divide both sides by three and you'd have one coin and one ball. Um, and if we go back to the original, we could confirm that. We have five balls and four coins. That's a total of nine things. And over here I have two and seven. That's also nine things. So we can see that, yes, it is true. They all, they weigh the same. So for this cantaloupe here, I'm trying to get to two cantaloupes. So how do I get from half to two. Well, I could first double each side, right? As long as I, if I double this side, I have to double that side, they'll still be equal. If I double this side, then I've got a whole cantaloupe. And here I would have, this is nine, I would have 18 apples, right? But I want two cantaloupes, so we need to double again, right? So now we're going to have two and 18 times two. Now we're going to have 36 apples. Okay, and let's see if we can do this one. These are a little more complicated when they have them on both sides, right? Um, I'm trying to get one cube. So I'm going to start, I'm going to say I'm going to put the cubes on this side because there's more of them here already. And I don't want to have um, negative cubes on one side. That would be, that would be weird. So let's remove this cube. If I remove one here, what do I have to do here? Same thing, I'm gonna remove one, so I'm left with three. Yeah, three cubes, okay. And now I've got these coins over here. I don't want these coins here. I'm gonna remove those, those are seven. So I'm gonna to have to subtract seven from here as well. 13 minus seven, that leaves me with six coins, okay. So I might just redraw this. What I've got is three cubes and six coins, okay? So I want to get to one cube. How do I get from three to one? I need to divide by three, All right? So if I divide this by three, I have one cube left. If I divide this by three, six over three, that's two. So I have one cube, weighs the same as two coins. 
All right. Uh, this one here, why don't you see if you can work this out? That's three, that's 10, that's one cube, that's uh, 13. So why don't you pause now, see if you can work this out on paper. Okay, I hope what you decided is to keep the cubes on this side because there's more of them there already. So you, st you should start by removing one here. So now you have two cubes here. And now we're gonna remove these 10 balls from here. And if I remove 10 here, that would be those plus one of those. Okay, so we're left with three and two. So I have two cubes. Oops, that's not a cube, but okay, there we go. And I have three balls, right? And these are equal, that's what this means. So two cubes equals three balls. Okay, and I want one cube, or these are marbles, I guess. So if I divide this by two, I'll get to one cube, which is exactly what we want. Equals, what's three divided by two? Well, I can write it as a fraction, three over two. And you know that that is the same as one and a half. 